if we don't own something that stimulates us, what's the point of living? Elon Musk essentially needed visionaries to create motivation and he had a more engaging than inspirational approach. Not only do Musk and NASA want to reach Mars and establish a permanent human presence there, but they also propose city-to-city -city travel by rocket right here on Earth. With today's technological developments, as visionary architects by the name of Q Consultants, we think Egypt would be the first to establish rocket launch stations for space tourism in the region with all its great heritage and pride. The thought of Tut Era city came from the tremendous treasures and hidden riddles of the ancient Egyptian world. Astronomy was key to the foundation of the city. We are taking you on a journey connecting Earth and sky within several times and dimensions. The design came in the shape of a pyramid to express the spiritual link between Earth, man and sky. It was inspired by the most remarkable structure built in antiquity, the Pyramid of Khofu in Giza, which is considered the optimal building figuratively and symbolically. The city's concept is based on being an integrated city, specialized in space tourism, astronomy and research in a modern Egyptian spirit, emphasizing the strength and greatness of our civilization and our leadership in the fields of astronomy, science and architecture. The city contains a research center specialized in the applications of astronomy as well as services for tourism across time and space. Being a self-sufficient city, an agricultural greenhouse area of 2,600 acres was established to provide the city's needs. A solar panel area was also proposed in the desert back of the city to fully feed it with energy without the need for external power stations. An area of desalination and water treatment plants was also proposed to provide the necessary water for the needs of the city and agriculture. The city is producing its own energy and recycling its waste into resources via virtuous loops. It's a fully protected and self-sufficient city. While it was found that NASA must attain a balance between the human journey to space and science, Tut Air made sure to have interconnected telescopes. Such a connection would catalyze the strengthening of nations and the flight enterprise in the country. Many sites overlooking the sea in Egypt have been proposed, commensurate with the general idea of the city and its uses, namely Salem City, North Sinai, South Tor, South Sinai, Tawila Island, Hergada, Ras Ben Nes, the Red Sea, and Nasser Lake, north of Abu Simbel. With this tremendous city made by the Egyptian teams of Cube Consultants for visionary design, Cube visualizes launching the first space tourism rocket from Egypt in 2050.